हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी एस एन आई टी ट्यूटोरियल बाय वृशाली इन अवर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट फिफो दैट इज फर्स्ट इन फर्स्ट आउट पेज रिप्लेसमेंट अलगोरिथम आई हैव गिवन सिंपलेस्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ सॉल्विंग एग्जाम्पल आई हैव अटैच अ कंप्लीट ओ एस प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अवर नेक्स्ट पेज रिप्लेसमेंट अलगोरिदम दैट इज एल आर यू list recently used let's start the session so previously we have already discussed all the subjects in simple explanation solve examples practical demonstration as well as some important question bank please share my channel with your friends and subscribe it that will be helpful for your university exam as well as interview purpose In today's session, we will first discuss what exactly LRU page replacement algorithm, their solve examples, and at the end some important question bank. I have attached FIFO page replacement algorithm link in below description box. These all topics will be helpful for your university exam purpose. So first, we will discuss what exactly LRU page replacement algorithm. As we discussed earlier in operating system. there are total two types of memory main memory means ram in your system and secondary memory so secondary memory is used for storing purpose operating system keep the pages of your process and program they stored here in secondary memory but main memory is used for execution purpose only suppose cpu demanding the page number 1 and this page number 1 present in main memory for execution which is called page hit but sometimes what happen cpu demanding the page 2 and page 2 currently not present in main memory so at that time page fault or page miss is occurred so operating system fetch page number 2 from secondary memory to main memory for execution again sometimes what happen this main memory is full there is no space available for new process execution and cpu demanding the page number 5 but currently there is a no space is available right so operating system used lru list recently used page replacement algorithm they find out which pages list recently used or not used recently so they swap this particular page from main memory to secondary memory and make a space for new process new page for execution so at that time lru this algorithm have used i will give you one simple example see while using mobile you are using whatsapp application again in background you are listening the music again in background your instagram application have open right and suppose a particular user want to open the banking application but there is no space is available your mobile give the error like space is full memory is full right so at that time operating system find out which one is the least recently used application or a particular application not used recently so suppose they find out instagram application not used recently so they swap instagram application from main memory to secondary memory and they make a space for new application for execution so this is the work of lru page replacement algorithm now let's understand with this solve example see here so this kind of example have asked in your university exam as well as gate exam purpose see two things are given first reference strings and second frame size so frame size is equal to 3 and reference string means these are the pages that cpu demanded this pages sequentially and operating system want to add this pages in main memory for execution so reference string and frame size is given then you have to find out total hit total fault hit ratio and miss ratio now let's see how to solve it so first you have to draw one table see on left side there is a frame size there are total 3 frame size so f1 f2 f3 on top side given reference string is mentioned like this see 
then uh, 0, 4, 2, 3, 0, 3 and 2, 1, 2. This is your given reference string. So assume that this is a random access memory in your system and you have to make a table by frame size by reference string. Got it? This is your first step. Now you have to solve the example step wise. See, first CPU demanding the page number 7. Check here, if 7 is present in this memory, no. Means page fault is occurred. So operating system fetch page number 7 from secondary memory and load into the main memory for execution at frame number 1. Okay. Now check with the next. Next is page number 0. Is 0 is present in main memory? No. Again page fault is occurred. Right. So kept as it is data 7 and operating system at the new page 0. Next one is page number 1. See here page number 1 is present here. No. Means again page fault is occurred. When particular page is not available in main memory then page fault is occurred. Okay. So kept previous data as it is 7.0 and new page have added that is page number 1 for execution. Next CPU demanding page number 2. Now check here. Page number 2 is present here. No. Means page fault is occurred. But currently RAM size is full. Right. So operating system find out list recent used page. Okay. So what happened here? See. You have to find out the list recent used page. So currently in operating system 3 pages. 1, 0 and 7. See. 1, 0 and 7. So which one is a list recently used or not used recently? 7 here. Right. 1 is recently used. 0 after that and after that 7. So not recently used is 7. Means you have to swap 7 with 2 and remaining data as it is. Okay. Means you have to do just a backward comparison. Which one is the not recently used. Got it? Now check with the next. Next one is page number 0. CPU demanding page number 0. Check here. So page number 0 already present here for execution. So when page is already present which is called page hit and write down this data as it is. Okay. Next one is page number 3. See page 3 is not present here in memory. Means page fault is occurred. Now operating system keep track of previous pages. See. So previously 2, 0, 1. These 3 pages present in memory. See. 0 is recently used. Then 2 and then 1. Means which one is the list recently used? Lastly, 1 here. Right? Means replace 1 with 3. And uh, previous data as it is. Okay? Now next one is 0. See? Page 0 is already present in main memory. So which is called page hit. No need for replacement. And write down this data as it is. 2, 0, 3. Next one is page 4. See, page 4 is already present here in main memory. No. Means page fault is occurred. Right. Now compare between 2, 0 and 3. See, 0 is here uh, before 4. Okay. Comparison starting from before 4 here. So, 0, 3 and 2. So, which one is not used recently? 2. Right. So, you have to replace 2 with 4. And remaining data as it is. Next CPU demanding page number 2. So page 2 is not present in main memory. Means page fault is occurred. Now compare between 4, 0 and 3. So which one is a, a not recently used? 3. Right. So you have to replace 3 with 2. And remaining data as it is. Next CPU demanding page number 3. So page number 3 is not available here in main memory means page fault is occurred. Now make a comparison between the previous pages like 2, 0, 4. See 2, 4 and 0. So from this 3 which one is the list recently used? 0. Right? So replace 0 with 3 and remaining data as it is. Next CPU demanding page number 0. See here page 0 is not present here. Means page fault is occurred. Right. Now make a comparison between the previous pages from 432. Okay. So 
थ्री इज रिसेंटली यूज आफ्टर दैट टू एंड आफ्टर दैट फोर सो विच वन इज अस्ट रिसेंटली यूज फोर सो रिप्लेस फोर विथ जीरो एंड रिमेनिंग डेटा एज इट इज ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट सीपीयू डिमांडिंग पेज नंबर थ्री सी सो पेज नंबर थ्री इज ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट इन मेन मेमरी सो वेन पेज इज ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट दैट इज पेज हिट एंड राइट डाउन दिस डेटा एज इट इज ओके नेक्स्ट इज सीपीयू डिमांडिंग पेज नंबर टू फॉर एक्सिक्यूशन सो हियर पेज टू इज ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट इन मेन मेमरी अगेन पेज हिट इज ऑकर्ड एंड राइट डाउन दिस डेटा एज इट इज ओके Now next one is page one. See, page one is already present in main memory. No, means page fault is occurred. So operating system fetch page one from secondary memory to main memory. So for that purpose they use the LRU algorithm. See, just make a comparison. Which one is the least recently used? Two, three, and zero. Okay, two, three, zero is present here. So which one is the least recently used? Zero. So swap zero with One and remaining data as it is. Now next last CPU demanding page number two. See page number two is already present here. Means page hit is occurred and write down data as it is. Okay. So in this way you have to solve the example. Basically you have to make the comparison between the last three pages. Which one is the least recently used and swap it accordingly. Now you have to find out the total hit. So total hits are present five. See one, two, three, four, and five, and total fault equal to ten. Now find out the hit ratio. Same formula is there. Number of hits divided by total number of references. So number of hits means total hit five divided by total number of references means how many strings are given. So there are total fifteen strings are given. So five divided by fifteen into hundred that is thirty three percent. Okay. Next find out the miss ratio or fault ratio, and the formula is number of fault divided by total number of references. So number of fault is ten, total number of references fifteen. So ten divided by fifteen into hundred that is sixty six percent. So this is called hit ratio and this is called fault ratio. So in this way. same way you have to solve the examples in your exam now as per the previous year question paper they have asked this kind of question see here okay see what is page fault reference string is given frame size is given and you have to solve this example by using fifo and lru algorithm we have already discussed fifo page replacement algorithm that is how to solve the example in previous session and i am suggesting you solve these three examples because this three same examples asked previous uh, year question paper repeatedly right so practice these three examples uh, and study accordingly so this is all about lru page replacement algorithm please subscribe the channel and share with your friends thank you keep learning